Hello everyone, so in the previous lesson we looked at how to multiply and divide with fractions and in the lesson before that we looked at how to add and subtract with fractions. Now we're going to combine everything into Bodmas questions. So remember Bodmas tells us that you should always do multiplication first. So let's pull this one out to the side and remember how to do that. When multiplying you do not need a common denominator but the arrows must remind you that you can cross cancel. So 3 goes into itself once, and 3 goes into there once. You could then multiply across, so 1 times 1 is 1, and 5 times 1 is 5. I'm then going to put that back into the sum. Now we are plussing fractions. So remember, when you plus fractions, you need a common denominator. A common denominator between 6 and 5 is the number 30. So we will multiply 6 by 5, and multiply 3 by 5, We'll multiply this one by 6 and this one by 6. Because now what we end up with is 15 over 30 plus 6 over 30. And that gives us 21 over 30. Always try simplify. I'll teach you guys a little trick. Type the number in on the calculator. And what you'll see is that that becomes 7 over 10. Because 3 goes into 21 7 times and 3 goes into 30 10 times. Here's the next one. So remember, always change things into improper's first, or just normal fractions first. So you say 3 times 4, which is 12, plus 1 is 13. I'm just going to rewrite everything. Now, we have timesing and plusing. So remember, times comes first, so I'm going to put a block there. Here's another time, so I'll put a block there. And then once again, we get left with these minuses and pluses, which we'll handle, on, or which we'll handle later on. So, looking at this first block, we could cross-cancel because of multiplication. So, 4 goes into there once, 4 goes into there 4 times. We can't cancel any further, so now we have to multiply across. 13 times 4 is 52. 1 times 3 is 3. Then we're going to say minus. Now, with the second block over here, we can cross-cancel. So, 4 goes into there once. 4 goes into there 4 times. 5 goes into here once, and 5 goes into here 5 times. So if we multiply across, we get 5, and if we multiply across, we get 4. Now all that is happening is we are minusing and plusing fractions. When minusing and plusing, you need the same denominator. A number that links 3 and 4 is 12. And so we can change all of them to 12. So we'll need to times this by 4. And what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Then you'll times this by 3, times this by 3, times this by 3, and times this by 3. So you could use your calculator here definitely. That would give you 208 over 12 minus 15 over 12 plus 9 over 12. 208 minus 15. So you can use your calculator for that. Teachers don't mind if you use a calculator. They just want to see all of your little steps. And so that will give you 193. Then 193 plus 9 is 202 over 12. Always try simplify. So what I would do at this point is type it in on the calculator. And the calculator will give you 101 over 6. Now we need to write this as a mixed number. So how many times can 6 fit in to 101? So what you can do is take 101 and say divide it by 6 on your calculator. And that will give you 16 comma something. So we know that it definitely fits in 16 times. Then you can say 16 times 6, which is 96. But what we had is 101. And so it means that there must be 5 left over. Let me explain that last part again. We originally had 202 over 12. We then said that we should just type that in on the calculator so that the calculator can simplify it to 101 over 6. Now we need to write this as a mixed number. Now it's difficult to know how many times 6 fits into 101. It could take you really long. So what I suggested was that you type in 101 divided by 6 on your calculator and when you do that you end up with 16 point eight three three and a whole lot of decimals which we don't really care about what we know is that it definitely goes in 16 times 
okay so we can say 16 now we need to know how much is left so what I said was we should say 16 times 6 which gave us 96 which is 5 away from 101 and so we have 5 left over out of 6 here's the next one so the first thing you need to do is change everything to a improper so that's 8 plus 3 that's 11 over 4 minus this one is 1 times 8 plus 1 which is 9 over 8 divided by 1 over 4 then always remember bod mass it will definitely be divide that comes before minus and so what we'll have is 11 over 4 minus now remember there is a trick when you have divide you turn it into a multiplication and you flip the number upside down so now we can do this calculation here remember that when there is a multiplication sign you can cross cancel so the 4 and the 8 4 goes into itself once and 4 goes into 8 twice so now we have 11 over 4 minus and now we can cross multiply so that will become 9 over 2 now we are minusing fractions so we need a common denominator let's write this up here the common denominator of 4 and 2 well that's easy that's just 4 so this one can stay as it is but this one will multiply by 2 and multiply by 2 because what you do to the bottom you must do to the top and so that gives you 18 over 4 now you can type in 11 minus 18 on your calculator and you would end up with minus 7 over 4 here's the next one so it's 3 and 3 quarters times 1 and 3 fifths divided by 3 and 3 fifths always switch it to an improper first so 3 times 4 is 12 plus 3 is 15 so that's 15 over 4 times by 1 times 5 plus 3 is 8 that's 8 over 5 divided by 3 times 5 is 15 plus 3 that's 18 over 5 I would then like us to just switch the divide sign remember the trick times it and then switch it over so times it and then flip it over now we are multiplying so we can cross cancel we don't need the same denominator so for example if I look at the 4 and the 8 4 goes into itself once and 4 goes into 8 twice if I look at this 15 and this 5 5 goes into itself once and 5 goes into 15 three times and that's about all we can do oh no we could go further let me just rewrite what we have so far so we have a 3 over 1 times by 2 over 1 times by 5 over 18 we can do even better 3 goes into itself once and 3 goes into 18 six times now there is nothing oh no we can even go further oh my word that's so cool so it's 1 over 1 times 2 over 1 times by 5 over 6 this 2 can go into itself once and this 6 can go into itself three times and so now we are at the point where we can't really go any further so now we multiply all the top numbers which is 5 and we multiply all the bottom numbers which is 3 and here's the last question so what we have is we should or what we should do is always change it into an improper first and so 2 times 5 is 10 plus 3 is 13 and then we say 3 times 2 plus 1 which is 7 so that's 7 over 2 plus 1 over 20 now we do the divide first because of bod mass and so remember our trick with divide you turn it into a times and then you flip the number over so now we don't need a common denominator why because these are we multiplying uh, nothing really cancels here this isn't really nice so 13 and 7 can't cancel and 2 and 5 can't cancel so now we just go across so that becomes 26 over 35 plus 1 over 20 now we are adding so we need the same denominator so now what number can 20 and 35 become or what we can do is count in 35s 35 70 105 140 and then we can count in 20s 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 there we go so they can both become 140 so we have to times this one by 4 but what you do to the bottom you do to the top for the 20 it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 until you get to 140 and so 26 times 4 guys please use your calculator for this it's absolutely fine that's 104 out of 140 plus 7 out of 140 and so now that the 140s are the same we can just add these and so that's 111 out of 140 always double check on your calculator by just typing in 111 over 140 and if it gives you the same thing 
then what that means is that it can't be simplified. So that is your answer. Whoa, that was a skew tick. Something went horribly wrong. There we go. Thank you for watching, guys.